Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at getting herrings. We're going to be getting smallmouth bass. We're going to get bullhead catfish. We're going to get lake sturgeons. We're going to get gators. We're going to get hawks. All those different things we're going to get in this one location. So I'm going to pull up on the map and show you where we need to go. So where we're heading to is right here on the waypoint. It is just west of St. Denis in the middle of these little island-like areas. Um, it's just more kind of like little ditches really off the side of the railroad track. So that's where we're heading over to. Okay guys, when you get here, uh, just walk up to this area right here that's closest to the railroad tracks and have your back towards the river um, and go ahead and just cast your line in. There will be no fish that will show up in this area, but as you can see here, sometimes the fish actually show up a little bit ahead of time, but if not, go ahead and do this process and it will actually cause them to spawn over there. Now as you're doing it, all you got to do is once the fish are going, all you gotta do is kind of run back and forth, back and forth, kind of like in some of the other videos you've seen that I did, that in that little ditch area um, near Thieves Landing. You know, you just kind of run back and forth, back and forth, and you'll actually scare the fish out. And as you can see, you know, it's already getting smallmouth bass are popping out. I mean, you're getting some of the bluegills are gonna pop out, uh, the catfish. And as you're doing this process, make sure to look overhead, look for the herrings and stuff because that's where a lot of the money's at. And also too, look for the hawks. The hawks are kind of always going to be by themselves and they have more of a bigger wingspan and they actually have kind of straight angles to their wings. And then also too, you can get like sturgeons, you can get the bullhead, I think catfish is what they're called, um, smallmouth bass. I mean, it's just full. I mean, in here, I mean, this, this is extremely simple. So I spent about only about 10 minutes over there gaining fish and um, hawks and herrings and all the other different stuff. I mean, it was literally like 10 minutes. It was no big deal at all. So let's go ahead and sell what we got. All right, as you can see, we got a lot within 10 minutes. So let's see, for all the duck feathers, we got $1.20. And bird meat, 75 cents. 3.75 just in catfish, 4.50 just in hawk feathers, 7.50 in the heron plumes, which I mean that's awesome. I mean there's tons of those birds there. Uh, 2.25 just in big game meat. Uh, let's see bluegill. We got eight of those, which I mean it was easy to do. Six bucks. Twenty dollars just for the smallmouth bass. Dollar fifty for the flight feathers. Those are just random birds. Uh, animal fat. Fifty cents. 80 cents, just alligator tooth. Uh, the heron carcass by itself is $1.95, not bad for a bird. Uh, hawk carcass, $1.95. And then we got the sturgeon for $7.25. So we ended up with $3,397. So we roughly just about $61, $62 within 10 minutes and maybe a minute for traveling just because I had to go to a different butcher. But anyway, guys, like I said, I just wanted to make it a short video. Not much to it. Extremely easy. Make a lot of money. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you out. If you hadn't seen it before, um, I would appreciate it if you liked the video. Share it with your friends. Also, too, if you're watching my videos or not a subscriber yet, I encourage you to subscribe. Click the notification bell because it helps you out. It helps me out. You get the videos um, notified and stuff as soon as they get uploaded so you can jump into these areas before a lot of other people get in there. So you can kind of capitalize on the money or the XP or whatever it is I happen to be sharing that time. So I really hope this helped you out. Like always, guys, I'll see you next time in the next video.